Hi there, and thanks for logging on to another edition of Who Has Sports Today. I'm Patrick, and just when you thought that football action was concentrated on the weekends, well, think again. Just from last night, we have Champions League, English Premier League, and the Malaysian Super League results. So let's begin right there with Match Day 4 in the MSL. All 14 teams in Malaysia's top tier football competition were in action last night. So here's the results at a glance. Reigning league champions Selangor beat Trangano in a thrilling 3-2 encounter. Club sides Johor FC and Felda United claimed away wins, while Pahang were winners at home against T-Team. Kadan Perak played to a scholar's draw, while the Young Tigers and the Northern Lions, Perlis, shared the spoils in their one-all draw. And current league leaders Klantan defeated the City Boys. To the standings and with that win over KL, Klantan pulled a two-point gap over second-placed Perak. The National Juniors are in third, tied on seven points with Selangor and Felder United. Now we look at the two Champions League knockout round ties this morning. Milan met first while Valencia took on Schalke in the first leg fixtures and both visiting teams came away with the advantage. Tottenham earned a memorable win when they took a 1-0 advantage over the Italian league leaders after Aaron Lennon sprinted through the Milan midfield and defence to set up Peter Crouch for a simple tap-in. Overall, Spurs were in control and now have the upper hand in the return leg on March the 9th. Meanwhile, German side Schalke had to thank Spain's favourite son Raul as he gave them a precious equaliser against Valencia. Roberto Soldado put the home side ahead in the 17th minute and Schalke had to wait until the 63rd minute for the equaliser. Tonight, two more first leg ties are scheduled in the round of 16. Roma play Shakhtar Donetsk while Arsenal welcome Barcelona to the Emirates. That's the one we'll be watching. Still on European football, Manchester City were pleased to have come away with a scholar's draw in their Europa League knockout stage match with Greek side Aris Solanika. Now, with all that European action going on, there was one fixture in the English Premier League. Newcastle picked up their first win in six matches when they were inspired by Jonas Guterres as the Argentinians set up both goals in either half for Peter Lovenkrantz in the first half and Leon Best in the second. To a little bit of Formula 1 news, civil unrest in Bahrain has cast doubts over the upcoming Grand Prix in the Kingdom, but more pressingly, the test session that is due to start on March the 3rd. The Bahrain GP organizers issued a statement saying that they are monitoring the situation and will respond appropriately to developments. Meanwhile, Formula One chief Bernie Eccleston voiced his concern that the unrest in Bahrain could impact next month's season opening Grand Prix, but added that it was too early to consider the possibility of the race being called off. Meanwhile, every precaution is being taken, especially after reports in the Gulf media suggested protesters are planning to target the season opening race on March the 13th. And to end this midweek edition, let's take a look at this video. An athlete's flamboyance ahead of any sport helps entertain the audience and at times intimidate the opponents. This boxer is probably showing off his flexibility and agility to instill fear in his opponents. But sometimes the best laid plans do go wrong as his opponent waits to deliver the killer blow. Until tomorrow, it's goodbye from the team and I at hoo-ha.my.